welcome back to my kitchen. Forgive me for sounding a little stuffy today, but I'm starting dinner and I wanted to try these no peak beef tips. No peak beef tips. Yeah. I do have a couple of videos out there already where I've done the roast beef. I think I've done it oven baked and also was it in the crock pot or instant pot or maybe both but I have a tendency when I bake my roast in the oven I like to peep at it and open the oven and check it so you're supposed to be able to bake the beef tips for three hours covered with foil no peeping allowed and it's supposed to be super tender that remains to be seen what I will do differently as opposed to baking at 300 I don't trust it to be super tender I'm going to bake at 325 all right for three hours and see if this works I've made a couple of little changes because it's just what I want to do going to start with about two pounds of my beef tips. Um, I've already rinsed my meat. So it's right here in the strainer in the sink. My beef tips. And what you saw me doing, I was just lightly greasing my 9 by 13 casserole dish. Now my husband really loves beef, roast beef. He loves a lot of extra gravy and sauces. If you've been here a while, then you already know that, okay? So, I think that recipe called maybe for like one can of the cream of mushroom soup. This is a 10.5 ounce can. I'm gonna use this and I'm also gonna use a can of cream of celery just because I want to, okay? I have thoroughly washed off the top of these cans. Y'all, they are nasty. Please wash off your cans. They're filthy nasty. They've been on those tractor trailer trucks. They've been in the grocery stores and the warehouses. People have put their nasty hands all over them. Those rodents and insects been crawling all over these cans and been licking on the tops. Wash them off thoroughly, okay? I've already done that. In addition to our uh, cream of celery and cream of mushroom. I'll also be adding this one packet of beefy onion soup mix. One packet. And then that recipe calls for a pack of brown gravy. Y'all, I had a little bit left. It's about, it's about to right here. So I'm going to add this. But in addition to that, I have, I'm using what I have already at home. I had this slow cooker savory pot roast um, and it's a McCormick herbs and spices seasoning pack recommended for the instant pot but this is what I'm going to add as well. It's also going to give me some extra you know give us some extra gravy like we like it. Okay. Of course I have thoroughly washed my hands. Y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. I'll start by opening up my cans because what I want to do is get everything mixed up together thoroughly. And then I'll um, pour it over the beef, okay? So to that, I'll add two cans of of water and I'm just adding water to the inside 
right to the can. Water from the refrigerator, that is. Okay. So we're adding that. Here's the rest of this brown gravy that I already had. And you all, um, I think this will be a great recipe for those who are new to cooking. If you're new to cooking and you want an easy recipe, you don't like cooking, or you just want to do something quick, I'm very curious to see how this is going to turn out. I intentionally am not going to season the meat at all. I just want to see if, you know, with all of the seasoning that we're adding with the little packets in the gravy, just seeing if that's going to season the meat and give it a great taste by itself, okay? Normally I would add my potatoes and garlic powder, onion powder, and um, extra cut up onions. We're not going to do that, so hopefully this will be easy peasy, but also delicious, alright? It's okay if we still, you know, we'll have some lumps in the gravy mixture, but they'll dissolve and, you know, we'll get rid of the lumps as as it's baking, all right? So we're simply just adding our little beef tips or strips. Again, I'm not adding anything to the meat. Not going to season the meat at all. We're gonna let the gravy do that. And like I say, I'm hoping that this is gonna be so delicious and tender. It's just one of those easy recipes, especially for those of you that are beginners at cooking, okay? I understand that cooking doesn't always come easy for everyone. So I really do enjoy doing recipes that hopefully helps those that find it challenging to cook and even bake. So we're just adding everything to the casserole dish. Kind of move it around. Just simply take some foil and we cover it. around the edge of it to make sure it's like sealed good. I'm not poking in any holes or anything in the top for steam to escape. Okay. I think that's going to be part of the key to and get cooked and be tender. What I am going to do since I added 
extra liquid to give us some more gravy. I am going to put it on this um, extra pan up under it just in case it bubbles over. I don't want to mess in my oven. All right. Okay. Okie dokie, so we're going in again. I'm baking mine at 325. No peak, no peak. Um, it is 114. <sighs> Interrupted my video. It's 114, 214. So about, I don't even need to do all that. I'm just going to set my timer for three hours. What you think about, lady? Okay. So we'll set the timer for three hours. When I tell you the hardest part is going to be not to peep at it. <laughs> but I am going to check it in three hours. And let you know uh, if it's tender enough or if it needs to bake, in my opinion, a little bit longer. I can't wait to see. Now, my husband loves roast beef. He loves the roast beef, so this should be very interesting. Um, and again, I was very um, purposeful about not adding any extra seasonings. I really want to see what the seasoning packets alone are going to do as it pertains to seasoning the meat while it's baking and just the taste. Because if we could just use the seasoning packs and it tastes delicious, I always think that's a win-win. And it makes it very easy to do. We are about 35 seconds away from the moment of truth. I am so curious to see whether or not these roast beef tips are as tender as the recipe claims. I did great you guys did not open the oven at all from what I can see with the light on it doesn't look like it spilled over either so I can't wait to see how it tastes if it's tender to see how here we go to see how the um, gravy if the lumps baked out of the gravy. If not, we're only we'll just stir it up. Um uh -oh. moment of truth. Let's see what we're looking like. Careful with the steam. Without even digging in, I'm loving the gravy. Loving, loving the gravy. This is going to be wonderful, either over some mashed potatoes or rice. All right, the moment of truth. Let me see, because I'm wanting to see if, you know how you dig in the roast beef and it kind of pulls away easily? Wait a minute. It ain't, it's, it's not doing that. It's not falling apart like I like for it to. It doesn't seem to be too tough, but it's just not. And remember, I baked on three. Wait a minute, saints and friends. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get another fork. See, I'm used to when I bake a roast beef, it just easily pulls apart. Okay. That's not too bad, but we like our roast beef really, really tender. Okay, let's let's see what it tastes like. Let me stir it up a little bit. Since I didn't season that meat. And I'm gonna have to taste it by myself right now because um, if it does need to bake some more, 
I wanted to have an opportunity to do so before my husband gets home. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Lord bless this roast beef. These beef tips in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't need anything but that little piece right there. That's all I need. Okay, you guys. Let's see. Okay, so when I break it up on the um, saucer, it does kind of, it breaks easily. Okay, it does. Did y'all see that? Okay. Now let's see what it tastes like. My honest opinion. That's good. That is good. It is fine. It is tender. Just because I'm used to baking my meat longer, if I wasn't doing this three hour experiment but leave it in there longer so what I'm going to do is we're going to cover it back up I'm so glad it didn't boil over too and the fact that we have this extra gravy is wonderful so did I turn off the oven I think I did I'm just going to turn it down so it'll stay warm but I'm going to cover it back up and place it back in the oven so it will stay warm. But the tenderness on these beef tips for me today was fine. Totally doable. The, the taste of the roast beef considering... Um, Trying to make sure I can pick that up and this pain wasn't too hot. Uh, considering I did not season the beef at all, it was still delicious. The gravy did its thing, did its job in seasoning the meat. So if you are one that's new to cooking and you want something simple, and I think earlier in the video I said something about quick. The prep was quick, but the cook time, of course, took three hours. But not having to add any extra seasonings, garlic powder, onion powder, any other thing, any other kinds of seasonings I would normally add. Y'all, this is really good. So if you are a beginner at cooking, or even if you're a veteran, but especially those that you really, you could be a newlywed and you're trying to learn how to cook or just you know, dating and want to cook a special meal. This was very, very easy to do. And you saw I just mixed everything up together, poured it over it, put it in the oven, let the oven do its thing. Do not open the door because you're going to lose. Um, it's going to cause your temperature to decrease. I didn't trust baking it at 300. I just, I personally do not think it would have been as tender. So that's why I bumped up my temperature to 325. Now the next time if I do this, I'm going to go on and put my onions in there and, and probably sprinkle some of my little um, um, what's my flakes y'all? I've drawn a blank. My red pepper flakes. I'd sprinkle some of that in it. I'd probably go on and just you know Maybe add some of the things that I normally add. I could have added some potatoes on the side. So it was definitely a thumbs up for me. I just wanted to experiment with you guys. Cannot wait for my dude number one, a.k.a. my husband, to get here. Let him taste it and we will get his thoughts about even the taste. Not only just the, the tenderness of it, but even the flavor of the beef to see if he feels like it has enough flavor. So I can't wait to get here so we can get his his opinion as well. Where are these calls from? I didn't read the drawer. Where are you doing the calls from? We got a thaw. A thaw. It's 
right here is, um, let me see, it's me. I'm hungry as a hostage. You always hungry. You don't understand what they do to me here. Throw a bowl over there, uh, full of water, and throw it over at me and say, just do what you can until you get on. I'm gonna have to wipe off. I'm not gonna be able to hold up this casserole dish. I'll hold it up. Uh-uh. Don't if it burn me, I'll burn it. No, 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 no. I'm it. saying because it's um because of because what? What was I gonna say? Because of what? It's because of I forgot. Oh, because um it looks messy. Then you can't really see it. Is it look, give me that plate of the plate. We put some on the plate and then we'll take it back off. But in the meantime, yeah, that's a pretty plate. That's a pretty plate. Um, I want you to. Are you gonna taste it? Yeah, I'm gonna taste it. Be careful, baby, because it's hot. Alright. Don't get burnt. And don't hold it over the thing. Over the. <laughs> I told you it was hot. Did it burn? Yeah, burn. Oh. Listen. I, I, didn't, I didn't even say nothing. I'm going to put some on this plate for presentation. Look at look how Jackson looking at you. Yeah. If you don't have one yet, you might have one. Did it burn you for real, babe? Yeah, it burned my head. I told you. What you laughing about with me? Is he laughing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting on the plate for presentation. Can I can I sprinkle some so little um uh, some little uh, I'm here. You no, know, my um some little. Oh, it burned. It burned, Papa. Did it burn, Papa? Place. Baby, don't burn yourself again. I ain't gonna burn myself again, Honey, you didn't even say hey to the family. You did the burn on. This on? Yes. You didn't realize it was on? I Baby, you know, when well, you come in the kitchen, it's always on no, when you turn it on. <laughs> Is that why you had said anything when well, they saw you get burned again? Oh, Lord. I yes. didn't know. I thought you. Okay. So I'm doing this because I'm going to dump this right back in the casserole, which y'all know we need to get a thumbnail. It's smoking, babe. I'm taking off the what you call I'm taking the heat it's off for Babe, move to. It's okay. Right, that's fine. Y'all see that? I got a blister okay. on my lip. You might, babe. But let me ask you this. It is red. I'm sorry, babe. Is it tender? Real tender. It's tender. You want that cow tail. <laughs> you soft. You said it. Okay, I'm going to put it right back in here. Now, how is the meat? Is the meat flavorful? Mm hmm It, it seems like it's seasoned good. Yes, it does. Yes, okay. it does. I'm ready to eat. This is good. Okay. Well, you guys, y'all heard them. You want to try some like, it's, it's called no peep, no peep or peak beef tips. And you basically bake it for three hours, but you're not supposed to open the oven. For what not? You're not supposed to open the oven while it's baking. So you ready for your plate, baby? So y'all heard that. So it is tender. It is. Um, I'm just here to fix his plate, you guys. It's tender. The beef is seasoned well. I probably have a poop on my lip. I probably have a big lump on my lip. Considering that we didn't do any pre seasoning to the beef, you know? Okay, try this. So, yeah, this works if you're looking for something easy to do. You kind of prep it and forget it, and then let it do its thing. This is do it. it. Alright. Y'all, this is it right here. He just got in from work. He's hungry. I'm really hungry. He's ready to eat. 
This is good. This is tender. Is Very it? tender. Okay, good. It said bake it on 300, but I didn't trust that, so I baked it on 325. I'm going to bake it. I'm baking it. I'm baking it. For three hours. Now you can put mine on top of the rest, don't you? I eat baby. I can oh. bake it. I don't like presentation. Listen, we gonna put a, we, we'll put a little bit more on your rice in a minute. Y'all want to play? Who gonna eat with me? Y'all want to eat the Mr. Dude number one. I so he has some fresh collard greens. He's gonna get some. We have some urban butter rice <laughs> so you go get some with spoons. some gravy. No, I'm going to get a spoon, not some spoons. You know, and then you we have our beef You can't tips. eat with me. This is for big people. Okay. You ready, babe? This is for big people, man. <laughs> Y'all can see his face. Come here. <laughs> it looks like this for big it's, people. Where you going? Who are going to eat? What can, we, what can we close the video first? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you have not talked to the family. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, act like that. Hey, uh, who gonna eat with me? Who wanna come and break bread with me? He looking like, why'd you leave me out? Come on, babe. <laughs> you see what you're doing. It's so silly. Wait a minute. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, everybody. You gonna eat with Papa? Say, let me taste it, Papa. I let you taste it already. You forgot? If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Turning on that notification bell. Where you get the green screen? Turning on that notification bell. Hit the nosy! That way you'll be notified whenever we're doing whatever it is we're over here it's doing. Green. Those are greens from uh, Thanksgiving. They were in the freezer, you guys. All I had to do was pull them out, reheat them. They are fresh collard <laughs> greens, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, I did you say bye? I tell them bye, I don't know. Me and Jackson say bye, bye. This right here is, ooh, this the spot. I got Mickey Mouse. You have Mickey Mouse? You have Mickey Mouse? You love me. You like Mickey Mouse, don't you? You do. Get that sugar. I love you. I love you. <laughs>